Because of AI, anyone can now create cinematic videos without a camera. And with so many tools out there and confusing settings and inconsistent results, most people give up before they even start. But it doesn't have to be that way. If you're like me and you've been editing a video and everything looks grey and then boom, you hit a gap. There's no more b-roll, you can't fill in that shot and you just have an awkward black hole that kills the entire flow. Well trust me, I've been there but you can now fix that and I've teamed up with Adobe Firefly to show you how. Adobe Firefly's new AI video generator lets you create cinematic b-roll on demand like product shots or cinematic sequences straight from a prompt or an image. So in this video I'm going to show you exactly how I use Adobe Firefly's AI video generator to create cinematic B-roll in minutes. Now whether you need a cinematic clip or content for socials or even an atmospheric shot to enhance your story, Firefly can generate B-roll with AI on demand from a prompt or image. But here's the thing, most people won't get great results because they're prompting wrong or they're using Firefly like a photo tool instead of a video generator. Now the added bonus of using Firefly video is anything you make with it is commercially safe, meaning that you can use it for your commercial work without having to worry about licensing. Now of course Firefly does also offer partner models like VO free and ray free so you can still go ahead and create concept visuals or play around with the latest tools and then bring everything straight into your favorite adobe apps so in this video i'll break down exactly how you can start prompting better how you can stylize your videos and even how you can enhance your results with my step-by-step -step workflow so you can start making your first cinematic ai b-roll today now before jumping into it all if you are new to ai and want to actually learn how to use all the best tools to create content for yourself or your brand or you just want to stay ahead of the curve then make sure to check out my ai community down below but with all that said let's jump right into it. Now some context on what Adobe Firefly is in case you weren't aware, it's an all-in-one AI suite with an AI video generator, an image generator, as well as an image editor, and it even has some really cool audio tools which are honestly a game changer, it's definitely worth checking. Now if you head to Firefly and go straight to the generate tab and scroll down a little bit, you'll see all of these main features and then you can toggle on image, video and audio. Now we're going to be focusing primarily on text to video and image to video, but you also have features like generate soundtrack, text to sound effect, transition video, text avatar, and enhanced speech. Now because the focus of this video is generating cinematic AI videos, we're going to jump straight into text to video. Now before we start generating our videos, I want to show you a little bit around the UI because it is actually super useful to know all of these things. On the top here we have our video models, you can see we have Firefly video, but then you have your partner models here like Pika, Ray, and Google. Here you'll be able to change your aspect ratio, so if you higher resolution, the more credits it will cost. Here we're on 1080p, costs 500 credits. If we go to 540, it only costs 100. We're going to stick to 1080 just so we can show you the highest resolution. You can also change your aspect ratio to 16 by 9, 1 by 1, and 9 by 16. And here's where it gets really interesting. So you'll see that you have all of these features. Now this is only available inside the Firefly video model. If we select Google, for example, you can see that these features have disappeared. So what's really cool here is you can actually add a reference video, which you can upload up to 10 seconds. And if you see here, it's actually going to match the composition of the video that you've uploaded. Now down here, you also have the camera one. So again, you can upload a video and what this is going to do is kind of mimic the camera motion that's already in that video reference that you've added. So if you wanted to try and recreate a specific effect that you have in one of your videos, you could do this and it will work really well. If we scroll down a little bit, you'll see that you have your shot size. So here you can change to an extreme close up or a long shot. You then have your camera angles and then your motion. So if you wanted a quick zoom in, you can just click on this preset. And then down here you have your style. So if you wanted to change it to something like a 2D animation or an anime or even cinematic or fantasy, you could do that here. Now a little bonus one that not many people know about because this is just released is transparent background. We'll talk about this a little later on in the video. It basically allows you to create some really cool effects with a transparent background and you can export it as a green screen or even an alpha layer. Okay, so now let's actually go ahead and start generating our first video. So if we go ahead and give it a simple prompt, like a cinematic shot of a woman working in a high rise apartment, morning light spills through a large window in the background. What we can do here is we can actually go ahead and just give it maybe a zoom out and then we can also go ahead and click on the cinematic. We can scroll up a little bit just to double check our settings, go to 1080p, widescreen looks good and then we'll leave a shot size and camera angle as it is and then go ahead and hit on generate. Now while that loads in the background I've opened up a new tab and I've copied the exact same prompt as well as the exact same presets. I want to show you something that's super useful. If you look down here you'll see that you have a button called enhance prompt. Now if we go ahead and click on that you'll see it now expands it to way more detail. So if we go ahead and hit on generate 
binary, we can then go and do a side-by-side -side comparison of the first video and this new one. So here we've got the first video with the simple prompt. And as you can see, this looks really good. We've got the zoom out, it looks cinematic. And overall, I'm super happy. But now let's go ahead and check the enhanced video. We can already see right off the bat, it's already better. It's got way more detail, which is exactly what we were looking for. Now, I do also have a secret third method on how you should go ahead about creating your prompts. And this is, of course, using an LLM like ChatGPT. Now, the reason why I like this so much is because it actually allows you to modify your prompt without putting in too much effort. So if you go ahead and ask it to give me a cinematic text to video prompt for a video about remote working, and I want it to feel cinematic, and the shot I need is of someone working on a laptop by a window with a city skyline or a home office setup. Now what we can go ahead and do here is give me the checklist first before the prompt. Go ahead and hit on enter, and now you'll see you'll get a detailed checklist of what it's going to include in the prompt. So you got your scene description, you got the setting, the shot type, character description, if there's dialogue or not, lighting, color palette, and all of that stuff. So you can go ahead and double check this if there's anything you want to change, like the character's appearance, you can then ask ChatGPT to do that. But let's just say that we're happy with this and just say, Yes. So now if we go ahead and copy this prompt and then bring it back into Firefly, paste that in, and we can actually go ahead and remove these presets right here. And now just go ahead and hit on generate. And as you can see, it's even more detailed. This time we've got some steam coming out of the cup. We've got a little bit of a flare here and the background behind her looks really awesome. Now you can of course experiment with other video models too. You've got Ray Free, which focuses more on realism and the physics. And you've got Google VO 3.1, which is a super popular model. Again, this focuses a lot more on realism and there is built-in sound in here, which is really awesome. So I'm gonna go ahead and play a side-by-side -side of VO 3.1 as well as Ray 3, just so you can see a quick comparison of what these look like. Now, before moving on to image to video, I wanna quickly show you generative sound. So as you can see here, we have our video. If we click on edit and then generate sound, it'll then bring in this video into a timeline and it'll allow us to add sound effects. So we can basically just type in what we want. So if we want, ambient uh, office noise, and then hit generate, you'll see in about two to three seconds, it's gonna give us four different samples that we can preview. So boom, we've got our first sample here. Our second one, our third one, and of course our fourth one. Now you can just click on this, it's gonna bring it in. You can then modify the length by just dragging it like that. You can also change the volume just like this, and then you can add way more sound effects. Now, a little bonus tip, you can also use the record feature, which is super cool. So the way it works is you basically just talk into your microphone to mimic a sound effect that you want to do, and then it will recreate that with the specific sound effect that you've added text prompt. So for example, if you wanted to reenact a roar from a lion, you'll just go like roar, and then let's play a sound effect of what it actually creates. So pretty cool. But let's go ahead and do a live demo here. So let's just do birds chirping. And then I don't really know how birds chirp, but we'll give it a go. Pretty good. <laughs> let's go ahead and hit on generate. So here we've got the first version. Not the best, but I think that's because of my attempting of chirping. But let's try the second one. Okay, that one is actually really good. So again, you can just click on that and then it's gonna add the sound effect and then you can modify the placement, change the volume, and then you can go ahead and download this video and it will integrate those sound effects directly into that video. Okay, so now you have a base understanding of how text to video works. Let's go ahead and jump into image to video because this is absolutely crazy and a lot of people don't really understand the potential and use cases that you can have with this. Now you don't have to change tabs. It's still gonna be in the generate video tab that we are in, but this time we're gonna be using the first frame. Now some reasons as to why you would be using this instead of text video. Now the main one is that you're going to have complete creative control as to what the actual visuals are going to look like. So you can import an image and then you can turn that into a video. You know how it is when you're on set, sometimes you forget to do stuff, but you have the photo but you just don't have a video. So what we can do is grab this image and then all we're going to do is drag it into the top right here. And this time we can go ahead and change the model to Google VO 3.1. And then we can just give it a prompt like a cinematic wide shot of a confident cowgirl woman standing in a dusty desert road at Golden Hour. So from here, we can go ahead and hit on Generate and check this out. Now that's cool, but the real use case of image to video isn't just adding images like this because you can do a lot more. So what we wanna go ahead and do is head back to the homepage and go on Image 
and then text to image. And you might be asking yourself, Seb, why are we going to text to image if this video is about creating AI videos? We'll trust the process. So what we're going to do is we're going to select Gemini 2.5, which is Nano Banana, and then we can go ahead and add our image here. And what we're going to say as our prompt is create a wide full body shot of this person at a 45 degree angle. We're going to change our aspect ratio to 16 by 9, so it's the same as our video. Then we're going to go ahead and hit on generate and boom, check that out. Now you can probably already guess why we've now done this. And that's all about filling in the blanks because like we said, we're trying to create cinematic AI B-roll that we don't already have. So if we go ahead and download this image, we can then head back to the image to video. And this time, instead of using Google Video, we're going to come back to Firefly Video because what you can actually do is add your first frame like we had originally, but this time we're going to go ahead and add our second frame. So essentially, this is our first frame, which is a close up. And then our second frame is a wide frame. And again, we didn't have a image of this person as a full body shot. But what we can do is basically just prompt it to do exactly what we want so we can create the perfect piece of B-roll for our video. Now, if you're not too sure what to prompt to actually get these videos the way you want them, you can basically just use ChatGPT. So here I said, I've got an image of close-up portrait and then the second image is a wide full body shot. Can you create me a video prompt to basically start the video with the close-up and, and it zooms out to the full body shot and it's using a first and last frame in the video generator. Then boom, you can check this prompt, you can read it in your own time if you want, or we can just go ahead and hit on generate and check it out. Pretty cool, right? And again, you can do this with multiple people. You can create different camera angles and then create videos from that. Or you could do this with images of a building. Let's say you're doing some real estate stuff. You could have a nice picture of the outside of the building, but let's say you wanted a really cool aerial shot where you could just use Google Gemini to create that aerial shot for you. And then you can create a transition inside of Adobe Firefly to merge those two images together into one. Now to finish off, I wanna quickly showcase Generate with Transparent Background because this is incredibly useful and it can save you a bunch of time wasting time looking on stock websites or you just can't find the specific one that you want. Well, if we head back to Firefly video and then we scroll all the way down, you can see we now have transparent background. Now if we go ahead and give it a specific prompt, like a realistic flame effect isolated on a transparent background with flickering orange and blue fire and heat distortion, cinematic lighting, go ahead and hit on generate, we get a video that looks like this. And that's pretty crazy because now you have a transparent video that you can add on top of your video that you're editing. And you'll also need Notice you'll see here you've got backgrounds. So you can basically apply a white, black, green, or even foreground and alpha mask only, which is really awesome. So if you're into your advanced editing, this is going to be extremely useful for. And again, if you want to quickly add a sound effect, just hover over, click on edit, and you can generate some sound effects. Now, again, with the transparent background, you are limited only to your imagination. You can create stuff like HUD overlays, or even if you want something like mist or smoke effects, you can create this inside of Adobe Firefly. And that's it. Adobe Firefly has officially solved the I need more b-roll problem for every single creator and filmmaker because now you can generate whatever you want. You just describe a shot and the AI video generator does all the heavy lifting. Now to recap, in this video we covered everything you need to know about creating professional AI b-roll using Adobe Firefly. We walked through the text to video model and explored image to video for even more creative control. I also showed you how to generate assets with transparent backgrounds all inside of Adobe Firefly's AI video generator. Now the best part is you can create cinematic AI b-roll for any project, whether it's product demos, brand content, YouTube videos, or social media without ever picking up a camera. So whether you're a content creator, filmmaker, or brand marketer, Adobe Firefly's AI video generator is your new go-to tool for generating AI B-roll that actually looks professional. So if you wanna try this out for yourself, we'll leave a link in the description down below, or you can just head over to firefly.adobe.com. Now, if you found this video helpful, then be sure to like this video and subscribe for more AI updates just like this. And again, if you wanna learn how to master all the best AI tools, then be sure to check out my AI community down below. I'll see you in the next one.